Gentlemen, I hope you are each having a fantastic day. Once again, I sincerely appreciate you taking a few minutes out of your busy evening to chat with me, to learn more about some specific nutrition strategies you can begin implementing instantly for the big return on your little two or three minute investment. So tonight, short and sweet, we're going to dive into the physiological reasons as to why I constantly recommend people to continue drinking more and more water or any other calorie-free fluid when they report having a ravenous appetite. So let's get to it. You're feeling hungry. You're dieting. Duh, it's going to happen. But one of the best things you can do to better manage your appetite and to keep those cravings at bay is to simply drink more water. And this is particularly valuable when you implement the strategy immediately before and immediately after a meal. Uh, to be honest with you, last night I was talking to one of my great clients, Carolyn, and she was reporting hunger. So I told her, hey, here's what you need to try. I mean, you're eating well, you're eating high fiber carbs, you're eating all your vegetables, you're eating every few hours, and you're drinking a good amount of water during the day. But what I want you to do is to drink 8 to 12 ounces of water immediately before and immediately after each meal. So I told her this on Monday, and I got an email from her, uh, was it last night or this morning? I don't even remember. Anywho, what it said was, Paul, great news. I've tried what you recommended and it worked. I never thought it could be so effective, but I haven't felt hungry all day. Just like that, an easy tweak, zero calories were used in the process, and she goes about her day without thinking about food every single minute. Now, here's how this works. When you load your stomach up with water, your stomach begins to expand. And in the stomach wall, the lining of your stomach, are nerve endings that are referred to as stretch receptors. And when your stomach begins to expand because you've filled it with an overwhelming amount of volume, these nerve endings or stretch receptors are stimulated. And when these nerve endings are stimulated, they literally send a signal to your brain to say, hey, put the fork down. I'm not hungry. We don't need anything else. We are completely at full capacity in the stomach region. Therefore, when you stretch your stomach, via an increase in fluids in a short amount of time, that signal, you know, as from the nerve ending stimulation is saying, hey, put the fork down. It is a satiety signal. So I know I just rambled there in a couple different directions, but let me make it real short, sweet, and concrete. You drink fluid. Your stomach expands. The nerve endings on your stomach wall are stimulated. They send satiety signals to your brain. Hey, put the fork down. Voila. Hunger disappears for the short term. So this is not as effective if you just drink a good amount of water during the day. It's effective when you drink a lot of water or any other calorie-free fluid in a very short amount of time. And that's because the rapid entry of food into your stomach forces the stomach to expand. Therefore, you get the nerve ending stimulation and the subsequent signaling to your brain that you are no longer hungry. So try it out. 8 to 12 ounces of fluid before and after every single meal. I think you'll be quite surprised just how impactful this easy to implement, convenient to implement strategy is. And I think you'll find it very useful, especially as you carry on about your day and when you're navigating a diet. Questions, comments, concerns, let me know. Short and sweet this evening. Again, I appreciate you taking the four minutes. That's all it took for some valuable nutrition information this evening. Enjoy the rest of your week. Let me know if you have any questions by commenting below or sending me a direct message, and I'll chat with you soon.